Hi friends, um, how you doing? Happy Thanksgiving for those who are celebrating and um, I wanted to do a little chair reading for you guys because it's actually the one year anniversary of my posting my first tarot video uh, publicly and for me that reminds me that there's a lot to be grateful for. Um, there's a lot that we've learned over the last year returning to this place of mindfulness and gratitude for our lives and for the people in our lives and everything that we've been able to accomplish together the meaningful changes we see that are happening the hard work everyone's been putting in and for me personally i'm just very grateful for um i guess like the removal of doubt and the courage that I've seemed to have found uh, by discovering a new language, a new language of storytelling through the cards. So I just want to say thank you for everyone who supported me. Um, whether or not you've understood everything that has been happening or not, um, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's do a little read, Thanksgiving read for you guys, see what's happening. Okay, we have the Two of Wands, the Fool, and the Six of Pentacles. So I can see that someone is planning to take a risk, or someone has taken a risk and is feeling a bit unprepared. Um, this could be Sag, right? We just entered Sag season, so it may feel like uh, we're out there putting ourselves out there, seeing what comes back to us. And, you know, in in the planning and dreaming about what that could look like, there's maybe a little bit of doubt creeping in. Um, the full in reverse, the, the full is the beginning of any journey, but in the re reverse, it may indicate that we're not completely aware of something, either the amount of risk that this action may actually be, or just that we ourselves are feeling not as prepared as we would like to be. I mean, that's why it's a risk anyways. And then we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. During the time of Thanksgiving, this card reminds me of mutual aid and all of the, um, all, all the different organizations, individuals, people organizing around each other to help each other out. We see it here coming out in the reverse. Mm. So... Maybe it's a feeling that we don't yet feel like we have what we need in order to move into the future. I think that this is, it's basically saying, you know, like first um, find the truth within yourself of the why, why do you want, why are you planning ahead for the future? What is that vision that you seek? Mars is still in retrograde, so maybe that's why we're having this reversal energy of the fool and the six of pentacles let's give it some more oh yeah there's a desire to change okay i think i see you're planning you're planning on moving in a certain direction and either people associated with this situation or whatever are actually moving in a different direction so if you if this season you're sticking up for yourself taking your risk putting yourself out there saying this is what i want this is what i'm going for um do expect yes to find maybe some alignment with with new people or people in your life and then i would also say here that not everyone's going to share the same feelings that you do about the things that you're going for and there may be like the breaking off of a commitment, a long-term commitment, 
or a long-term situation is somehow fundamentally uh, changing or shifting. Yeah, something has stopped moving. Uh, so now it's time to be brave and walk away and try something else. The Three of Swords, Eight of Cups, Sagittarius. The Three of Swords is the card of heartbreak, I guess, but it also just talks about, it's sort of merc mercurial in my opinion, where it's like, these swords represent our past conditioning, like all the things that have hurt us up until now that have sort of shaped our conditioning in terms of how we show up and, you know, where we find our safe zone, where we operate it within our safe zone to not trigger any other wounds. It's time to walk away. If you're standing up for yourself boldly and saying like, no, I'd like to move on from the way that things used to be and I'm going in a different direction. That's the eight of cups here. And... Uh, I love that Temperance shows up because that's actually Sag. That's Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is about seeking a greater truth. This is seeking your greater truth as well as a time of experimentation and try something new. Um, yeah. I feel like that's been true for me. Let me know if it's true for you. Uh, we appreciate you guys again. So um, have a happy Thanksgiving. Um, I hope that everyone is doing well out there.